Okay, so if you want to format your Nintendo Switch microSD card without actually losing all the contents, uh, this is what I do. So for the backup, pretty much what I do is, uh, obviously I power off the Nintendo Switch, totally power it off before removing the microSD card. And then I use a SD card reader, something like this, right? Uh, you can use, you know, from a docking station or anything else like that. You can use one of those that actually either read the micro SD card, or if you have an adapter, you can go ahead and do so as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the micro SD card, plug it in. And now we have our card reader. So this micro SD card is specifically set up for the backup process. We're gonna just go ahead and get all our contents, our games, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and format it in the Nintendo Switch instead of doing it through the computer. I mean, I've done it before through the computer, but I personally believe that if you do the formatting in the actual console or the vise, it makes much more sense because it actually creates all the folders and formats it in the proper file system. After getting into the micro SD card with the card reader, you'll notice that you have a Nintendo folder. Pretty much what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and copy the entire folder. Uh, but I just wanna let you know what else you can find here. So the album is obviously all the photos and videos that you record in your Nintendo Switch. Um, saves are obviously all the saves that are saved in the micro SD card, duh. And uh, the contents is pretty much where you will have the games, uh, usually in the registered uh, folder. Uh, don't even try to understand what these folders are and how Nintendo breaks it down. It's really weird. Uh, but I do know that is that you want to copy the entire Nintendo folder. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this real quick. All right, so we are done. And now that we have the microSD card here, what I like to do is I can just go ahead and format it from here. This is going to totally erase everything that is actually saved in that microSD card by just clicking here and format. I'm going to leave it as it is. XFAT eh, really doesn't matter because we're going to still uh, format it again in the Nintendo Switch. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and hop over into our Nintendo Switch. Okay, so you want to go all the way to system settings. You want to go to system go all the way down where it says formatting options. So what you want to do here is actually format the micro SD card. So if it's recommended that you back up all your screenshot videos and other important data to a PC before formatting, all right? So continue. Are you sure all data on the micro SD card will be deleted? Data cannot be restored once it's deleted. Continue. Yes, go for it. So now what we're doing is actually formatting the micro SD card from the Nintendo Switch. It actually restarted my Nintendo Switch. And now we have a blank slate. Games are not even available here anymore. So the next thing we want to do is bring back all the files that we have backed up. So once again, we're going to power off the Nintendo Switch so that we can retrieve the micro SD card. And then after doing that, we're going to go ahead and bring all, all the files that we had in our computer into the micro SD card. We're back at our Nintendo Switch micro SD card. As you can see here, it already has all the different folders created, but all of them are pretty much, uh, should be empty. They're a generator created today. They don't have any games. So one very important tip is try not to edit any files that are there. So since I only care about the games that I had, I am going to go ahead and uh, just drop in the folders from the contents. Okay, so we finished actually copying all the files and now we're gonna try and bring over that micro SD card into our Nintendo Switch. So now that we are in our Nintendo Switch, after copying all the files from our computer and doing the formatting from the Nintendo Switch, we can see that we have our games here available. And the game that was actually giving us issues is the Splatoon 3. Now at this point, we can see that it's already installed and it doesn't need to be downloaded. And if you wanna go ahead and verify that this game is actually saved in the micro SD card, you can easily just go to data management Go to manage software and you'll be able to see that we have Splatoon 3 here, which uses up about 6.1 gigs and it has a little micro SD card icon right there. If you find this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever we release a brand new video and hit on that like button. This is Eddie 4. See you on the next one. Hey, by the way, don't forget to watch one of these videos.